Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have my husband here. Hello everybody. We wanted to make a video together all about the name reveal of our baby boy. Yep. Um, if you guys haven't seen the gender reveal, I have, I actually posted it on my channel too. So I have one on our channel, their vlogging channel, and then one on my channel. Um, Go watch it, we worked really hard on it. And it turned out really nice. It and did turn out pretty nice. Yeah, filming that was... That was a bear, and we were fighting the whole time. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, it. So I will have that link down below. Go check it out. Um, and if you guys have been catching up on my pregnancy updates, you know I'm having a little boy. And I'm actually, I wanted to do this name reveal a long time ago. <laughs> but <laughs> it just hasn't happened. Right now I am actually 38 weeks pregnant. And so we wanted to hurry up and get this film so we could do a really special video for him. Because he has a very special name. So, if you want to see what we are naming our baby boy, just keep watching. So, our son has a very special name. He is named after our grandfathers. And so, we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about our grandfathers before we reveal the name and so that you can know why we chose this name and why it's so special to us. My grandfather served in World War II. He was born in January of 1918. Uh, served in the United States Army during World War II. Actually enlisted shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor. He saw action at the invasion of Normandy and assisted in freeing prisoner of war camps in France. And I think you have, I don't know if we have the picture of it, but if we do, I'll put it up here. We do have the picture of it, yeah. Of him. My Funny story, my grandma actually saw that picture in a magazine. I don't remember the the, night, the name of the magazine now, but she was, I believe, correct me, I, my mom will correct me if I'm wrong, but she was getting her hair done and seeing uh, this picture that I'm sure Renee is overlaying on us right now in a magazine and... It's actually a, a picture of my grandfather escorting uh, prisoners of war out of a concentration out of camp. a concentration camp in France. I didn't get to spend nearly as much time with my grandpa as Rene did. He died when I was just before my 12th birthday. Yeah, why did I want to name my son after him? Uh, he's even though I didn't spend a lot of time with him, he had a pretty big impact. He taught me. Uh, a lot about patriotism and love my country so it's a pretty important part of who I am oh my favorite memory with my grandpa I guess my grandpa used to take me every Saturday morning we'd go to Manny's barbershop and get our haircut and then we go to the quick and have breakfast and the quick had the best hot chocolate because the waitress would just keep coming put more uh, okay. whipped cream on the top of that hot chocolate literally till you left. I don't think I was actually drinking hot chocolate, I was just eating whipped cream. But yeah, those are those are good memories. So my grandfather enlisted into the United States Marine Corps in nineteen sixty four. Um he fought in the Vietnam War. So I have a lot of special memories with my grandfather and I'm very, very blessed that he is still alive and um Everly gets to hang out with him and play with him and joke with him all the time and I'm really excited for our son to be able to do the same thing and the probably most special thing about him is what we call him um I guess I'm not I can't really say yet because we haven't revealed the name yeah no but about. I'll I'll insert it at the end of the video so my grandfather was has always been a huge part of my life he has taught me so many things, I can't even count, but some of really important ones, he taught me to fish, he taught me to swim, he taught me to ride a bike, um, he taught me to drive his boat, he taught me to drive his truck, um, he has taught me so many things and he has been such an important figure in my life, and um, he's always so proud of our country and he is very patriotic and so that's one thing that we both share from our grandfathers is we learned our patriotism from them. And if I can interject, yeah. he has done uh, a lot for us. He's taught me a lot. He's been there for our family through 
uh, a lot of rougher times, mm -hmm. taught us a lot of uh, important life lessons. That is um, kind of the backstory of our son's name. Yep. So without further ado, his name is William, William Joseph. Joseph. Yay! <laughs> we love this name. I do. Um, William comes from his grandfather, Joseph comes from mine. Um, and that's kind of where I wanted to wait until we revealed the name to tell you what I call my grandfather, because he hates being called Grandpa. So we call him Papa Joe. <laughs> and that is just such a unique thing, I think, that um, in Everly she calls him Papa Joe. And uh, actually she calls him Papa Toe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that is his name it's very very special to us and we're continuing on our family and two men that served our country and have served our families well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I wanted to make it short and sweet I wanted to add in some pictures of our grandfathers and um, just tell you guys the backstory of where our son got his name so if you like this video give it a thumbs up Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also our vlogging channel as well because we have a lot of stuff. We have Papa Joe on there <laughs> and um, lots of different things and we're going to be doing um, a birth vlog, hopefully, labor and delivery vlog, depending on how everything goes. That is our goal. So make sure you subscribe to both channels so you can see what's going on and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.